I'm Gildan from Express, and so I want to ask you, what, what is the main take here so far you think uh, we should take with us? Well, my main take is that uh, we are meeting this year in a very uh, special uh, context, uh, extraordinarily emotional uh, all over the world, with the uh, international situation in general, which is deteriorating for a number of reasons, plus uh, on top of that, uh, this uh, new war uh, between Israel and the Hamas, but with a huge uh, regional and international uh, uh, consequences. We are meeting in the Gulf, uh, in a Muslim country, uh, and uh, the question of course that uh, everybody was asking before the beginning of this uh, meeting uh, was uh, the kind of consequences it will have in the meeting itself. You know? And uh, therefore my main uh, take is that it went extraordinarily well in terms of ambiance. Uh, we, the WPC, uh, we are not specialized. That is, uh, we'll, the, year after year, we discuss all kinds of subjects uh, with, the, with the spirit uh, of, uh, of, of global governance, even, even if this term is a little bit uh, obsolete now in certain uh, in certain ways, but nonetheless it still means uh, something because uh, if there is no longer such thing as uh, uh, global governance, uh, the world uh, will evolve in a chaotic uh, uh, d direction, if you can say chaotic and direction, it's, uh, the two worlds do not go very well together. So that's one point. Uh, we have always uh, stress the middle, the concept of middle power, which is, I think, more relevant than ever uh, today. And we have always uh, uh, promoted the concept of what I call reasonable openness that is uh, far uh, from the initial uh, utopia of uh, globalization, the idea that nevertheless the world should remain open, but not too much, because too much openness, unprepared openness, can lead uh, towards uh, uh, great uh, the difficulties, as we see with the migration problem, for instance. So the uh, interesting thing is that we could discuss all these issues. We could uh, allude and refer to the uh, immediate short-term uh, 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 difficulties, including the, the, the two wars, I mean, Ukraine and uh, Israel uh, Hamas, and everything went in terms of exchanges, of style, of uh, uh, communication among us, etc. It went in, the, in, in, in a very smooth and, uh, and uh, mutually, with a lot of mutual respect for everybody. And I think it's a great success because uh, this is what we have uh, aimed to do with this World Policy Conference, you know, a club uh, where uh, from the people, countries coming from the four or uh, five continents and to uh, uh, be to able to discuss, uh, uh, to, to, listen, to, to listen to others, to express you know, the viewpoints of everybody, but uh, uh, also to, to pay attention and respect to the viewpoint of the other. So in that sense, I think it was a, a, a real success. And uh, I think we need in the current world more pe places uh, where this sort of uh, communication uh, can be uh, practiced. So sorry for that long uh, answer, but I would uh, like to ask one uh, footnote which is we, today uh, we are uh, Sunday, if I am not mistaken. And uh, we had this morning a uh, meeting, a uh, session on religion, but something uh, not, not in the classical sense, because uh, in conferences like this, uh, when you speak of religions, you think uh, of the political uh, aspects of religion. 
No, I wanted, uh, I wanted to uh, have a session on religions, uh, no, on, the, on the major, uh, uh, what they call here the Abrahamic uh, religions. Uh, I, I wanted to have uh, one session where we could discuss uh, the uh, issue of religions, but uh, from the viewpoint, how do religions contribute to, to the good? Uh, of, of, of humanity, whereas there is a tendency to consider, unfortunately, religions more and more as uh, troublemakers, uh, and we associate more and more religions with, with wars, unfortunately. So uh, the decision to have such a session had been taken uh, much before uh, the 7th of October. So the question after the 7th of October was, uh, is it reasonable to keep a session like that uh, three weeks uh, after the beginning of the Israel-Hamas uh, war? And I decided to maintain it, and to maintain it with uh, people who represent something in the three uh, major uh, Abrahamic, in the three Abrahamic regions, that is, uh, the uh, Christians, uh, Muslims, and, and Jews. If I take the order in terms of uh, the, uh, the, 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 in the time perspective, I should ask. I should start with the Jews, uh, uh, Christians, and, and Muslims. And frankly speaking, and until the last minute, I wasn't sure of how it would go. Uh, and uh, I think it went uh, remarkably well, much beyond my uh, expectations, uh, in two ways. You know, one is that we really, that was short, you know, one hour, uh, that really the speakers uh, spoke uh, about the, 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 the subject I mean, that I had uh, assigned to, to them. You know, they did not try to escape. Uh, and the second uh, good surprise, I must say, is that uh, the Muslim speaker, who is a, an important person, you know, he has an important position, uh, spoke essentially the same language uh, than the uh, other two, uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, means something. It means something because it shows, it's very courageous, you know, I think that in a country like this, in a Muslim country, to uh, speak in the way he spoke uh, is uh, very significant, very significant, because uh, as everybody knows, the, 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 the Muslim, the, the public opinion in the Muslim world uh, is extraordinarily emotional about the, 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 the events, and of course the Jewish uh, uh, community as well. So um, if uh, I take an optimistic interpretation of this, uh, I take it as meaning that there are uh, people in the Muslim world who are responsible uh, people and who uh, seem to be prepared to work uh, to, to, to change, uh, to, 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 to ask to take the lead or uh, of, of a more uh, uh, positive uh, approach to uh, these uh, formidable problems that we, that we are facing. So I mention this because it is today, the third day, the last day, and uh, it was, uh, as I said, uh, an original uh, session, and uh, so I take it uh, as, as, a, as, a, as a big success for, for our concept. Sorry, it's a bit long. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for your explanation. Uh, I'd like to talk about, uh, uh, like you said, so global governance, you know, so as of now, so newer. So Israel, Hamas was a uh, former war. So Ukraine, Russia is ongoing, but uh, the, there are so, uh, some opinions or stances depending on the countries, you know. And uh, so I'd like to know 
how should each government do in future to be to make global governance much more better? I'd like to know your opinion. You see, the big uh, problem is uh, that uh, the world today is very much uh, divided. Yes, yes. Because you have uh, conflicts at various levels. Today, the most important, the deepest conflict is uh, the one uh, which is today still uh, cold, if I may say so, uh, that is between the, the competition between the US and, uh, and China. Uh, this is the most fundamental conflict. No, no, it's very difficult to make specific predictions of, on how it, it, it will evolve. Uh, by the way, one of the mini sessions uh, here, which uh, was, I think, quite interesting for at least some participants, was the discussion with uh, Mr. Long, who is a former uh, or Chinese um, uh, executive chief uh, of uh, Hong Kong, and who uh, made extraordinarily uh, clearly uh, the uh, uh, exposed the, the, the attitude of the position of, of China, of mainland China on, on Taiwan and uh, uh, clearly you know, China is not, what he said is not uh, particularly original but the style, you know, his style, of exp his way of expressing was very, very clear uh, on an issue such as Taiwan. Uh, China want to absorb China as soon as possible to, to, to full stop you know and and, 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 the, and the whole uh, the style of his intervention of his uh, answers to my questions was uh, was difficult to be more clear than, than, than he was so uh, that means that uh, the possibility of major conflicts is still there it is uh, clear that uh, the uh, American uh, approach uh, to uh, global governance is not compatible with the Chinese approach to global uh, governance and so forth and so on. Now at lower levels we have a series of uh, big uh, conflicts. Uh, if uh, we take the case of uh, Ukraine, the Ukraine war is uh, far from the, the, the perspective of an end to that war is very remote uh, today. And uh, as we have seen, uh, Russia is now uh, becoming more and more uh, a junior partner of, uh, of China. Uh, the uh, so-called Global South. Now, you know, it is uh, much closer to the, uh, uh, to the, to the let's say, the Russian uh, the, the, the position on Ukraine in the, in the, in the sense that uh, they consider that this is not their problem, that the, 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 the West, uh, in, in fact, is uh, behaving uh, still as an imperial uh, as power or uh, a collection of uh, former um, uh, colonial powers and so forth and so on. Uh, so what I mean is that Russia is much less isolated than what most uh, people uh, say. Uh, we uh, see that uh, Iran, for instance, have clearly moved uh, in the uh, eastern uh, the direction, etc., uh, etc. Et so we have a collection of, 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 of problems like this, Middle East, uh, as we uh, see the Gulf. So um, the, the division of the world is at various levels. So the question is that in such a context, how, what does it mean, uh, global uh, go governance? Because Global governance, the ideal of global governance, can work only if there is an agreement between the major, the great majority of uh, countries, an agreement to have it work. You know, uh, you you have to agree that there should be something like global governance that has to work for the benefit of the world. But if there, there is no disagreement, if there is no agreement uh, on on the ends, uh, you will not have an agreement on the means. Right? Uh, governance, uh, global governance, is a means to, to an end. If you don't agree about the end, it, can, it cannot work. So, um, uh, one of the consequences of this 
is uh, that the common goods, the global public goods, if you wish, are unlikely to be uh, treated uh, correctly. Uh, I am thinking particularly of climate and health, and, and, and global health. So on climate, of course, we had here, uh, especially from uh, the Emirates, uh, uh, a positive uh, approach because they are they're working very hard you know, to have a successful uh, uh, COP28. But uh, as we know, uh, the last uh, the COPs were n not particularly uh, successful. I, I hope that the COP28 will be uh, more successful, but uh, it's not sure at all because how, how can you have a uh, bold uh, agreement, uh, for instance, on the, between the U.S. and, and China, uh, in such a context, you know, it's it's very 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 difficult. Uh, so, uh, to, to the, the the remarkable thing, you know, is that the the very concept of glo of um, of uh, commons of humanity uh, or global public good, it's a it's a concept uh, that is relevant now, but. Uh, 10 or 15 or 20 years ago, it was abstract, uh, an abstract concept. Today, it's no longer an abstract concept because we all, you know, it, everywhere in the world, for us, you know, climate change is, has become a reality. You know? uh, everywhere, everywhere. But uh, the uh, capacity to act collectively to face this reality and to improve the situation is lacking for the reasons I just try to, uh, to, to, to mention. So um, uh, if the question is, uh, will, uh, is, are the conditions ripe uh, to allow uh, improvement of global governance and climate, my rough answer would be very unlikely. And the same for global health. You know, this morning also we had the session of, uh, on, on, on the how to, to fight or to prevent future pandemics, the brief uh, answer is clear. Uh, we, we are not progressing at all in this issue. If we uh, speak uh, in clear language, that means that the probability in the next few years, or perhaps decades, but uh, relatively uh, uh, the near future, the probability to have another pandemic is very high uh, because we would be and we have not taken we have not even started you know to take the measures the collective measures that would allow to kill the pandemics at the very beginning if it occurred what would be the main reason of that that's kind of a paradox that uh, topics are much more interconnected than, than before and the world is even more divided than before how can we how can we Overcome that paradox. First, I, I, don't, I don't think it is a paradox, because the, this uh, interconnection is, is, is also the cause of divisions. No. Uh, so uh, it, it increases interdependence in an erratic way, but uh, at the same time, it exacerbates uh, tensions, divisions, uh, that's the paradox uh, of communication, you know. It, the paradox of communication is, is very multidimensional. For instance, if you ask the question, is globally, is the world uh, uh, as a whole, you know, are there more tragedies today than there were uh, during the Middle Ages or, uh, or even 50 years ago? The answer is probably n n n not much more, uh, but, but, but everything is visible. You know, to, today, uh, everything which is happening uh, here in Abu Dhabi uh, can be uh, observed everywhere in the world and, and, and vice versa. You know, in the, the Soviet times, there were uh, tragedies every day in the Soviet Union, but nobody heard uh, about them, you know. And, uh, uh, at the time in the 70s, at the times of, of my beginnings in the uh, field of international affairs, you had the Vietnam War. We were, uh, of course, uh, informed on the Vietnam War, but we didn't go the details. 
You know, uh, today uh, you, you would know every detail about the atrocities uh, that uh, were committed, co committed every day in, 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 in Vietnam. So uh, there is also a perception uh, pr problem. And this is why I'm talking about a reasonably open world. Uh, because uh, when, when any, every country imports the problem of the, the, problem of the others, it becomes unlivable. No, you cannot live like mm -hmm. that. No. We are talking these days about the uh, issue of uh, importing the uh, uh, Israeli-Palestinian issue in, in Europe, for instance, or in France because of the Muslim uh, community, particularly. But it's, it, 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 so this problem is not about the, only about the Israeli-Palestinian uh, issue. It's, it's a much more general uh, pro problem because uh, politics uh, start uh, with emotions you know this is a, it's a, the, the the rationalization the abstract thinking about uh, problems comes of course uh, uh, at, at, at a different le level but the, the problems politically start with emotions so uh, this is why uh, i think uh, that uh, this is why i, I use this this uh, the term uh, reasonable openness you know so, uh, again, it's a long answer to, to, to the question. It's not a paradox. Okay, so can I have yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, please. Uh, my name is In Sun Kang from South Korea. <laughs> uh, I noticed that uh, you have put a lot of uh, effort in this year's WPC to talk, talk more about uh, technology, uh, including AIE and so forth and so on. Um, uh, it's definitely, it is an opportunity, nobody would say no to that, it is an opportunity, but in this time uh, where a lot of countries are uh, preparing for elections uh, next year or sometime this year, uh, where do you think the global government should put more focus on starting from now? Uh, to to maybe regulate to pre and to pre prevent its like side effects, or to promote uh, so that people can exploit like the, the the infinite potential of the technology. That's of course a very interesting question. Now uh, I will refer to. Uh, conference that you know well, you personally, which is the World Knowledge Forum of your boss, uh, uh, Chairman Chang De Wan, the Mai Kung uh, Group. And um, as I told you uh, uh, privately, uh, the, uh, in, in, in Korea, they, 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 have, uh, they have been the last, uh, for, for a number of years, you know, at, at the center of the thinking uh, on uh, new technologies, uh, uh, taking the best of these technologies to develop a smart this or smart that, uh, everything is smart. Uh, uh, and um, I have uh, always learned a lot of things uh, through this World Knowledge Forum, including last uh, time, which was uh, in mid-September, uh, so that was uh, one and a half uh, month ago, uh, closely. And uh, I was very much struck by uh, two persons, uh, the founder of uh, uh, Open Artificial Intelligence, uh, the, 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 the young man who uh, well, they developed ChatGPT, and the other one was a co-founder of Apple. Uh, Wojtniak, I think it's uh, the... the, the a Polish, uh, Polish name, and the two of them uh, made very clear, including what is Altman, uh, the, the, the guy of uh, OpenAI, the two guys said very, very clearly uh, artificial intelligence is, well, I say it in, 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 in my own words, but, 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 but the idea was very clear, it, it, it can be very dangerous, so we, we should uh, think uh, of regulating you know, so and since then, because at the, at the time it was the uh, it, that was the first time for me that that, that I that I heard that recommendation uh, made uh, so explicitly by prominent uh, people in the field, 
It was very, very interesting because uh, just 10 years ago, you know, all the, the, the young uh, leaders, uh, business people of the Silicon Valley and elsewhere, uh, would, would, nev would, would never speak of regulating uh, uh, of re the internet or whatever, of the, of the digital world. Well, today uh, they seem to be frightened or scared by uh, the, the consequences of their own uh, uh, creations or creatures. So, uh, and since uh, these, uh, few, this meeting a few weeks ago, uh, I am more, of course, uh, uh, careful uh, to, to uh, following the opinions of the various uh, actors in this field. And of course you have two camps, uh, but, but uh, I think the, the camp of people who think that regulation <coughs> is necessary is increasing in, in, in numbers. Now, uh, the big problem is that once you have recognized that, what do you do? Because to speak about regulation, it's a word, uh, after all, but to regulate what uh, and, and how. And it's always the same problem. Par exemple, in the US, usually they do not want to, to, to they do not like to regulate. But if, the, if, if one country, uh, if, if, let's say, uh, the majority of countries uh, do, uh, regulate and you have uh, one, two or three of the major actors who do not, <coughs> well, the, the result is easy to to predict uh, uh, until some sort of catastrophe uh, uh, occurs. <coughs> so it's a very good example of the current world, you know. We have a vague understanding that things cannot continue indefinitely uh, as they do, but we don't know uh, too much what, what to do. Uh, I, I said that uh, global governance, you have the first thing is to have an agreement on the end. Uh, and then on the means, but if you n agree neither on the ends nor on the means, you are in trouble. No. And it, it, we may be in, 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 in such a stage today. Yeah, go. go back to reformulate what I asked you in the first place, but what is, it's a bit different. What, is the, what did you learn? Is there anything you learned here during these days? Of someone that surprised just, you. Sorry? That surprised? Someone, something that surprised you, someone who said something that, that it's struck more you. Important than, yeah. 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 Or maybe not. No, learning is, uh, it's not uh, an easy, uh, I, I learned constantly, including from you. <laughs> no. So uh, I am a machine learning <laughs> by myself. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, Learning, the, 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 I would say the, the question perhaps, so learning, I learn constantly, just sometimes listening. And you know, when I am here during three days, I, I do so many things at the same time, that sometimes it's difficult for me, uh, even, even if I look concentrated on what they say, I may think of a totally different thing, because, uh, so, because when you do uh, too many things at the same time, you, it's, it, it, may be, it, it, it may be a bit difficult. But um, so there are a number of, of details that, that I learned. And so what do I do? I say, well, I, I should be more careful to, uh, to, 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 to understand this or that, or to, 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 di to dig a little bit further uh, this and that issue. But you're not talking about this sort of, uh, of uh, learning. Uh, if you mean by learning being surprised, no, I was not surprised uh, because I follow things constantly, so I was not surprised. And, you know, we are, when you are prepared with, with, uh, in detail, you know, an event like this, it's unlikely that you are really surprised. Uh, this is why I answered with you about the, atm the general atmosphere. Uh, what, what my, my, my initial answer, maybe it's not a very sub, uh, a, a sexy uh, answer, but nonetheless, again, today, I repeat that, today the way the religious, uh, the session of religion went was, uh, I can tell you that early this morning, I had reasons not to be sure at all about how it could evolve. <laughs> no? So, you know, uh, in international in, in, in international affairs and more generally in uh, in complex situations, uh, all the difficulty is to 
assess correctly the, um, uh, the, 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 the small uh, signals. You know, uh, it's, 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 you have to be very careful about the interpretations of uh, certain facts, etc., that most of the people would not even care about, you know. So, uh, so perhaps, uh, I hope I am not uh, too uh, optimistic, perhaps if I take a global view about the discussion of so many uh, subjects, uh, if I take that all together, uh, I, I, I was, uh, my conclusion might be that on the whole, positive uh, attitudes or uh, uh, attitudes of responsibility uh, seem to prevail uh, uh, over uh, negative uh, uh, attitudes. But I could be slightly more precise. For instance, uh, if you take the Israeli uh, Hamas issue, I prefer I said the Israeli Hamas because I am not sure that it is is it a really an Israeli Palestinian problem. Yeah. You know, that can be discussed, you know. So Hamas has become an actor in, in as such an actor in, in, in itself. But when you uh, talk with reasonable people about it, uh, they say that well, th there is no government, apparently, you know, there is no government, even in the region, who really want to create uh, chaos. Yeah. No. Uh, if you uh, look in detail uh, to the declaration of Mr. Nasrallah, Nasrallah uh, the other day, yesterday, I think it was, and uh, clearly it illustrates uh, what I'm saying. So if it's actually in Iran, it's, it's unlikely, you know, that they want to uh, commit to, be, to, 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 to start a real war or to, to, to have to confront the United States directly. It's very, very uh, un unlikely. So uh, where is the, the real risk, apart from the tragedies for the, 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 for the people who are in the, in the, in the middle of the, of the fight, uh, that is the uh, Israeli and the Gaza people? Uh, I think the answer is uh, the uh, public opinions, yeah. and the public opinions uh, in the Middle East in particular, but not only the Middle East, because we see uh, in, in Europe, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And that is not controllable. So, uh, whereas governments can at least control the, the, their decisions, but uh, public opinions, uh, mob uh, movements, demonstrations, this you cannot uh, control uh, uh, easily. Uh, so, uh, th this, is, uh, this is why uh, th th this reinforces my uh, remark about uh, responsibility. I think that all the speakers here, uh, depending of course on their, uh, what they are talking about, their field of expertise, etc., but they, I think they behave, they spoke in a, in a, uh, with, with a sense of responsibility. And, and I like that. So you can tell me that I did no. not invite people. Who no, no, but, but it, it, there is a, a bit of a contradiction because you previously previously said that the world is, doesn't agree nor on the objective, on the means. Mm. So I would ask a, a little bit, uh, as I would ask to a politician, have you ever seen such a configuration in your lifetime? This reminds me of a story, you know, of a church man a, a, in a parish, a priest of a, of a Protestant parish somewhere, who uh, asked an artist, you know, to paint uh, an angel mm. for for his church. And after a few weeks, uh, he brings uh, the, the artist comes back with a beautiful uh, angel, and uh, the. Uh, the priest uh, discovers that the angel has shoes. So he, shoes, shoes. 
So <laughs> he tells the, the artist, well, but have you ever seen an angel with, with, with shoes? And the other guy says, and you, have you ever seen an angel without shoes? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, he laughs, not you, but he, 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 he laughs. So, je vous ferai une leçon particulière. <laughs> bon. So, uh, the, the, uh, th that's the, the, you speak about a paradox or contradiction, you know, it, it is all, the, this, this is an apparent contradiction, the sort of contradiction that you find in complexity. When, you know, when there are complex situations, you always have an apparent uh, a contradiction. But uh, I, in this case, I don't, I don't see that, that two ways of looking uh, at the same events, but I don't see any contradiction. But it's, still, it's, still, it's still an uncharted territory, a situation no, where I, 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 nobody agrees no, on the objective that, no, and the okay, means. Okay, okay, yes, but, but uh, the, the, the specificity is that, you know, if, if the two of us disagree fundamentally on an issue, uh, we disagree on the description of the issue itself, we disagree on the aims uh, to be attained. Uh, we uh, disagree uh, uh, on, on, the, on the means, etc., etc. But at a certain moment, we discover that the two of us are losing control of the situation. And we discover that the, 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 without understanding exactly what is happening, we could both lose uh, the, the game. Then, uh, you, uh, we agree at least on one thing. Uh, we, we, we are on our guards, and, and we understand that we have a common interest, which is precisely to avoid uh, the, 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 the full loss of, uh, of control. So this is the sort of um, my, my answer to, 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 to the question. I like the answer. <laughs> so you said, have I ever seen in my life a comparable situation? The answer is no. Uh, the answer is no, and uh, uh, and that uh, takes us back to the uh, question about technology, uh, because uh, you know, I remember very well, uh, personally, you know, the beginnings of what was not called at the time the dig digital technologies. We did not use, we spoke of informatics and this sort of thing. Well, that was uh, in, the, in the 60s, uh, in fact, in the 1960s. Of course, uh, from a scientific viewpoint, uh, uh, we co communication theory and all the, 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 the uh, the, the, all, all the basic, uh, the, the, the scientific foundations were, were born earlier. But uh, uh, digital technologies uh, as, as a new world uh, started more or less in the 60s. Since then, those technologies have accelerated, uh, the technological progress has accelerated constantly. No, there never was a pause. So if you compare uh, this extraordinary uh, industrial revolution to all the previous industrial re re uh, revolutions in history, uh, it's, it's totally uh, unprecedented because uh, all the previous uh, revolutions were limited in time. You know, they had a huge uh, consequences. But to have 60 years of constant acceleration of technological progress. And this continues because uh, the, 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 the current prediction is that it's very likely the acceleration will accelerate further in the, in the n n near future, you know. And, and of course, we had uh, uh, at this conference, we had uh, some presentation of this uh, evolution, but we have that uh, everywhere, you know. Uh, it, it, in, in a sense, it is extraordinary. We are very much impressed because of this, uh, it's fantastic, but it is, it is scaring too, uh, and and that that is new, and that raises another uh, issue which which may take us uh, back to to religion. You know, that is, what is the capacity of human beings to uh, adapt 
to uh, constantly accelerating uh, change. You know? this, this, uh, uh, because we, we are very adaptable uh, animals. The, 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 the human beings are adaptable animals. But there may be some, 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 some limits. You know? So, um, so that's, uh, that's, no, that's really unprecedented. Uh, and when they say uh, that uh, with the ChatGPT or other uh, similar technologies, uh, it it could develop in a viral uh, way, you know, like a pandemic, precisely, it, it is it, it it is a serious question. Who can tell? You know, yeah. I come back to your to the World Knowledge Forum uh, m meeting. The, 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 the people, I mentioned two people, but there were others. One of the questions raised during that meeting was, what is the horizon of predictability? No. And uh, the consensus was that uh, even five years may be too long. Yeah. Even five years. No. Five years? What is it, five years? Take uh, elections, yeah. no? Take, uh, well, uh, we have been uh, discussing fake news and this sort of thing for a number of years. But with ChatGPT and similar technologies, no, it will become more and more uh, uh, difficult to, to separate uh, reality from virtuality. They are, well, and so who tells me that you are not virtual, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> On s'arrête là, là. Ouais, c'est bien là.